How's it going? How are you doing? Another rant and chill. No real schedule for this. It just happens when it happens. That's the thing. That's the beauty of it. This isn't some organized and thought out show. This is just me streaming and talking off the cuff about things. Uh, someone brought this to my attention. Uh, who is RMX77? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Strange dude. Very strange dude. And, um, Let's let's look into his life. It's a it's a vlog from what I kind of from what I gather. It's a vlog of a dude who seems uh, kind of low in life right now. Um, I don't know if he's doing too well. I don't know. Kind of worried. I'd say this video is uh, from 2018. And I gotta say, man. Uh, you know who he is? <laughs> I gotta say, uh, nature has not been kind to him. Let's put it that way. You know? And he does look like he's been hit with the ugly stick a couple times. We gotta... Uh, I feel bad saying that. I do. Because the guy might actually... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. It, it seems too easy. Feel, I feel like I'm picking on him. Why am I talking about this not the gun sex tape? I already did. I already talked about the gun sex tape this morning. You missed it. And YouTube's been taking hours, hours to process live streams now. It's, it's gone slow. Gone really sluggish. But believe me, I talked about it. Hey, I'll rehash it if you want me to. I feel like I already did. <laughs> uh, trust me, trust me. I talked about how Faith, Faith, Faith is not so innocent. She's not innocent. She took the money from the gun and ran. No, it's like um, it's like the Jetsons. He hands her a dollar. No, she took the wallet and she ran. She ran back to daddy. She ran back to daddy. And playing the boyfriend. Playing her ex-boyfriend the whole time, too. Sexting him. Saying that she's going to go back to him. Hey, there's a problem, Judge. No problem. I get it. It's the hot goss in town right now. It's, uh, it's what everybody wants to talk about. And uh, I have no problem. No problem riffing on it right now. PvP and Godwinson are reviewing it on Bitwave. Nice. They're doing it right now. Maybe I just stream sniped them. <laughs> that could be because this guy I want to talk about here he's kind of honestly it's going to be kind of a downer it, it's 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 kind of sad see look 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 okay look already on surface level I, I don't want to make fun of this guy I don't look at this like when you look like the Goonies I don't know Goonies you look like the sloth from the Goonies it's before I say anything else about this guy, uh, talk to Suffer knows about him. You know, he, 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 I think he knows about him. Is there anything bad about him that I should be aware of? Is he, is he a creep or anything? Or is he just, uh, just kind of depressing? Is he a JFS spinoff? He could be. He could be. Uh, he's a goth he could be a gothic king cobra. He could be if he just owned it. But he's he's afraid of the trolls. He cucked to the trolls. The trolls won in his case. The case study of in loneliness. Yeah, just hear him talk. Hear him talk. I'll, I'll stream snipe on Bitwave. Uh, shoot me a link and I'll do that. But um, let's see. Hello there, all. It's been a while since I've done a video on YouTube. Very soft-spoken, has um, has a face that the ladies are probably going to be, you know, they're, they're probably going to object to. I say that, but e even Ethan Ralph can get laid. Look, uh, RMX77, I don't know who you are, but, I mean, there's no way you can't get laid when a fat gunt like Ethan Ralph can get pussy. Uh, may, you know what? RMX77, maybe Fay Fay Faith could pay you a visit. Maybe. I wouldn't wish I would not wish that for you though, because she already fucked the gunt. 
So whatever STD she has, she would pass it on to you. She would pass it on to you. And she might be pregnant with Ethan Ralph's baby. So, so she would get with you, and then she would find out that she's pregnant, and she would just blame you, and you would have to pay the child support. He's a straight cross-dresser? Uh, I mean, hey, if you're cross-dressed, I don't know if you could say you're straight, man. If you like wearing panties, I don't know if you could say you're, you're straight. That's kind of... You're, you're, you're there on the, on the border, man. You're, you're right there. Was he a part of the whole trans thing at any time? He probably was. Maybe. But he's into chicks. And I'd like to kind of give you sort of like an update as to what's been going on. Um, mostly what's been going on is uh, since my late father had passed, in uh, January of 2016, we had been taking care of all the, we had, back in 2016, we took care of all the, um, you know, the necessary paperwork stuff that we had to do um, and closed out uh, uh, certain accounts of his, but uh, the bank account we couldn't. Uh... Right, let me skip ahead. I think he talks about chicks. Oh, any free dinners I can find. Oh, okay. He he, he depends on, on free dinners. This guy, this guy depends on free dinners. Like, he lives off of free dinners. I think he goes to church, uh, local communities, and he gets free dinners, free food from them. Okay. Um, you know what? That, that sounds depressing. That sounds lonely as fuck, right? But you know, this guy's life, better than Ethan Ralph's. This guy's life better than Ethan Ralph. Because he, Ethan Ralph is begging for lemons. He's begging for Lino. Oh, which, by the way, guys, hey, if you want to donate to me, if you want to donate, uh, here's my cup. If you guys are the type that like to hand out money just to whoever's just talking to you on the stream, here's my cup, guys. Feel free to give me the money. <laughs> I couldn't resist. No, but seriously, this guy, I don't, know, I don't even know his name but a much better, genuine life than Ethan Ralph. Mm. You know what? This guy, this guy is too good for Faye. This guy is too good for Faye, Faye, Faith. Am I the only one who calls her that? I like that. It kind of it has a nice ring to it. Faye, Faye, Faith. Anxiety, depression, a lower than average IQ in certain areas, and even a learning disability. And any more, um, what I do right now is I just go out and do... Wait, wait, wait. He begs for goth clothes? That's more original than begging for money. Shit. I mean, if we're like, hey, guys, here's my P.O. box. Um, don't hand me money. Just send me stuff. Send me cigars or uh, random items. Oh, that'd be, that'd be fun. People would be sending me all sorts of shit. Who knows what I'd get in the fucking mail. Maybe I should get a P.O. box to see what happens. You know, any free dinners I can find. And I go out and... Um, I uh, go to a library. And I go home. I don't do much else because I have a hard time making friends to be honest. I could see why he has a hard time making friends, hard time socializing, you know, a lot of anxiety the way he looks, but you know, I think, I think it's on point to talk about this right now. I just talked about the sex tape, the Ethan Ralph sex tape. Okay. I did watch that thing, not on stream. I watched it. My eyes are horrified, but you know, talking about this guy is humbling. It, it kind of sees as someone who's more grounded and it, yeah he's lonely he's depressing he's sort of sad but you know a very simple existence is a lot better than the train wreck that is ethan ralph's life the train wreck that is boogie's life the train wreck that is uh let's just say, call it what it is nick ricada's life nick ricada's together he's making money he's a successful grifter but let's just face it his best friend is drexel as a guy who plows married pussy married pussy a guy who has no ethics no ethics whatsoever. He'll plow Mary Pussy. Most likely could 
have a plowed Nicrocatus wife. We have no idea. We have no idea. <laughs> uh, a much better life than, than Dick Masterson. Dick Masterson, okay? Look, there's nothing wrong with living a simple life. Being a simple man, simple life, that's fine. There's a quality to that. There's respect in that. There's dignity in that. You know, so what if the ladies aren't attracted, attracted to that? You know who is? Whores are. Well, at least for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 50. I don't, I don't know. What, what, what's the cost of a whore anymore? It should be cheap, right? There's so many, right? The more whores that are out there, the, the price just drops, right? Yeah, but for 20 bucks, <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll be interested in you. And then, and then they'll be gone, and then you'll be fine. You'll be able to continue living your simple life. Be honest. And the thing is, is that most of the time when I try to make friends, a lot of them won't really, they don't act as if they want to be a friend. They refuse to be a friend to me. Especially on Facebook, when I make friends that I could possibly meet in real life, most of them ignore me like I don't exist or they claim yeah I'll meet up with you and then never set a time for me to uh, meet up or okay is this Ethan Ralph's brother is it is this his lost brother what's his name Ian or something what's uh, Ethan Ralph's brother's name what is it Uh, five costs a trip to the museum. <laughs> $15 burgers. <laughs> Who eats food at a fucking museum? God damn. Uh, I, I know. he. This guy is sad, but he does kind of make me laugh. And I don't... The jokes are right there, man. Come on. He does kind of look like a pigman. He does look like a Minecraft pigman guy. It's right there. I don't want to say that. I just said that. I'm horrible for saying that. Uh, I should go to church this Sunday and tell the priest, to, to tell my minister that I, 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 need a, I, need a, uh, I need a beg for forgiveness. Jesus Christ. You know? I want to see this guy have a good day. I want to see him stream with something positive. I want him to have more positivity in his life. Kind of a, you know, maybe, it looks like he hasn't streamed in a while or done anything, but have a surge of, of positive energy. He, you know, Gothic King Cobra gets that every now and then. You know, he, he, that's what I like about him. Every now and then he gets that uh, the positivity. He, he gets some synergy. I don't know, he gets, I don't know, like he's fired up about something. He gets his angry rants, but then he gets his, you know, like he's doing something with his life. Okay, might not be much, might be something major for him, but you know what? He's doing something. He's doing more than Ethan Ralph. <laughs> hey, by the way, about Ethan Ralph. How does it feel? <laughs> I wonder how it feels for Ralph, knowing that Dark Side Phil is more successful than him. You know? Let me take this guy out of the screen. When you have your hierarchy of a low cows, dark side feel, you know, I, I thought he was like pretty low, but no, no, it changes things. Perspective changes things, right? Ethan Ralph is much lower than him, much lower. Dark side feel actually has a successful Twitch channel. I think he actually makes more money. You know, Ethan Ralph always likes to brag about the money he makes. I think Dark Side Phil actually makes more money than, than Ethan Ralph. And Dark Side Phil is married. Well, yeah, he's in debt. <laughs> well, actually, um, he, he, he actually filed for bankruptcy and, and got it, right? He was successful in that. And, you know, if, if you want to make this in a contest about who's in, who's in more debt, you know, sure, sure, dark, I guess dark side Phil is probably more dead than Ethan Ralph. But at least dark side Phil is in a house. 
is in his own place, right? He's not living with his with his mom. DSP has the devil's luck. He does. He probably he probably gets it from. I don't know who he, is it. Maybe we need to talk to his mom. Talk to Darkseid Phil's mom. I hate roping family in, into this, but did she make make a deal with the devil? You were speculating that the horse has bolted from the barn. Wait. You mean Faye? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on here. Hold on. Let me just go ahead and take a look at what's going on on this link that you guys sent me. Okay. All right. We talked about this guy for a little bit. Maybe I'll, I'll continue that on a later stream. Let's go take a look what's going on with Populous Press. PPP. Bitwave.tv. This thing is live. Are they playing the sex tape? Because I can't, I won't be able to stream that after playing the sex tape. Oh, they're zooming on portions of the sex tape. Is this live? Why is it buffering? What the fuck is going on in Bitwave? Is it done? It's not just me. It's people in the chat, too. They're like, uh, what's going on here? Okay, guys. Go to the Bitwave link. Is it working for y'all? Are y'all are, are able to see this? I'm trying to go back in the stream to see if I can play anything. I can't play anything. Let me refresh. You know, I set up an account here on Bitwave to stream something, just to play around with it. I hate it. I streamed, uh, I think I was playing Blood. Okay. Shout out to your channel, by the way, Mr. D. We called out, we called the gun sex tape the day we found out about Faith. You know what? You're right. We did. We did. You know, my memory's pretty bad. Half the time, I don't even remember what I say. And that, that's actually not, that's not really a joke or a lie. That's the truth. Yeah, shit. Goddamn. I need to be tested. <laughs> I need to have a cognitive test. No, but, but that is true. I do remember that. I just get so hot in here. I keep on forgetting what I fucking say. I think one stream I might have I might have confessed my inner feelings about futa, futa porn. That's a thing, right? Or people with cartoons of dicks? I don't know. I don't know what you d degenerates watch anymore. Okay. If you like futa, you're a fucking degenerate. Come on now. Come on. If you like futa, you're you're a closet homosexual. And if you're a closet homosexual, you just might as well just come out come out it's 2020 just come just just anyway um i'm just sort of just just talking shit right now because i'm it looks like the stream is offline now great can i watch a replay of it looks like i can like five minutes of man i can't watch that they're watching the sex tape they're, they're critiquing the sex tape with the sex tape footage Did Xander not allow? It's Xander, right? Dispatch. Who's who runs Bitwave TV? Dispatch. Did, he, did does he not allow pornography on his site? Was there a problem? It uh, looks like they had a. Okay, I could. Well, I was gonna put screen share this, but I. Uh, you know, I don't think YouTube's even gonna know what it is. I don't think YouTube's gonna even know what it is, because it doesn't even look like porn. It looks. Like disgusting. It looks like fucking lard. Um, okay, this is what I see. This is what I see. Okay, 
guys. Uh, they streamed for about a minute for like five minutes. A minute ago, they had a five minute stream. 10 minutes ago, they had another five minute stream. 16 minutes ago, they had a 26 minute stream. It looks like they've been having problems doing this. Is there a problem with Bitwave? I mean, obviously Xander's not sweeping. He's not being a Janny about this whole thing. Did, did PPP go too far and play the porn? Don't worry. You guys are fine. You guys are fine. You guys saw nothing. Um, Faith's lard cellulite ass is so fat. And it's not defined. It's not a... I like a good fat ass. I like a good thick ass. I do like that. I like meat on it. I don't like a bony chick. I like meat on it. I like to be able to spank it and watch it wiggle. But I like there to be some definition. Be defined. Be toned a bit. Be toned. There's none of that. None of that there. Wait, wait, wait. I was saying it's so big. It's, it actually blocks out the whole screen. It blocks out the... Like, like, you can't see, you can't tell what you're looking at. The first time I saw the porn, uh, the sex tape, I thought, I, I thought it was like, I, I thought it was like two loaves of bread. Two loaves of greasy bread trying to make a baby. I thought maybe it was like a, Behind the scenes of how Papa John's makes their pizza. The, the special ingredient that, uh, that they use. Anyway, so yeah, so that was short. Um, are they talking about that on the, on the farms? I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Uh do 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 yeah okay that that is the best reaction that is the best reaction let me let me share this let me share this let me share this i think this might be the best reaction i've seen so far of the sex tape come on that you you get this even if you have never played doki doki literature club it's a fun game people told me to play it before uh, honestly, kind of about a third of the way, I got kind of bored of this. Like, what's going on? This is kind of what is this? But at the end, uh, there was there's a payoff there. I said the payoff is worth it. It kind of the files delete and kind of the game messes with itself. It's kind of cool. But anyway, cool, cool. Let's see. Uh, anything else? Boo -doo -doo. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a call. Let me take this. I have to take this. Okay, that was a call from uh, Faye's dad. He said that Faye left. Faye, Faye, Faith left the house. He could, not, he could not keep her. He could not keep her. She ran away from home again. She ran away from home. And she's fleeing to the gunt? No. Worse. To boogie. To boogie. No. No. That's not true. I lied to you guys. 
She's not running to Boogie. No. What happened is Mr. Medicare saw that sex tape. was like, man, I got to get into that fat ass. I need, I need Ethan Ralph sloppy seconds. That's what I need. That's what Mr. Medicare needs anymore. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh If y'all really want to know. Happy birthday to me. Happy fucking birthday to me. Base Boogie saying the N-word of fucking Faye? He probably would. You know what, though? Faye seems like the type of white chick that would totally love to go on a black dude. She totally would. She would. And the moment she did... She would stick with it. She would have to, because she would get knocked up. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the fucking truth of it. Goddamn. Her ass would get torn up. Ew. I know super... Guys, it, this is getting gross. It's getting fucking degenerate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And it's in the working hours. I can't, I can't drink right now. I just have a, a bottle of Sunkissed that's been sitting there for a while. I don't know if I want to drink that. Where's the proof that she actually left Ralph? You know? Good point. I want to see Mr. Vickers discipline his daughter. And he can do that. He could do that just fine. She's not a child anymore. I guess she could I guess she could say, you know, that she was assaulted as an adult. But who would really care? Who'd really care then? Then it's just then it's just a you know it's just family assault uh with injury. With a family member. That's just, that's just domestic violence at that point. Who cares about that? If Jim does a stream and collects super chats about any of this, I'll lose any re remaining respect. Sounds like a future Deadman Advocate uh, show. Um, if I could turn that, let's see. Mr. Medicare. Mr. Medicare is absolutely not a grifter. Now that's too easy. Too easy. Well, I think that's the thing with that. Obviously, I have a bullshit, dumb premise, and I just defend it to the grave. Try to, anyway. Try to. <laughs> That'd be fun. It'd be a fun way to utilize this all this internet drama shit. And have fun making fun with these guys. By the way, I say that knowing one day it could be my turn, but I don't fucking care. And who am I? I'm just, I'm just some nobody. I'm an outsider. And, you know, I like that. I like it that way. The other day when I was doing the Dead Midstone podcast thing and the, uh, the Phantom Operation or organization. See, I don't even know his name. The PO guy. Uh, he called in. I didn't mind. I mean, I guess I kind of knew. I kind of expected one day the drama would kind of cross over. But I was like, oh, man. Okay. I want to talk about that. But you saw that. If y'all did. Uh, it was like, it, while he's there, definitely could tell him about horror, talk to him about horror movies or whatever. Try to make it relevant. Jesus. You know? I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm trying to appeal to two different audiences here. Ah. Uh. And I'm too lazy to have two separate channels. And also, I don't really see the need for two separate channels. I don't mind the audiences splitting. Every now and then, what's going to happen? I'll fire a stream and talk about <gasps> a book. Maybe even read. It wouldn't be any, uh, it wouldn't be uh, Twilight. I don't read Twilight. But it would be, you know, something else. Something with a lot of N-words in it. Oh, I'll read Stephen King. Don't, don't appeal to anybody. Just be genuine. That's the thing. That's the thing. You doing true crime tonight? Oh. Oh, shit. Did this stream say tonight? It's supposed to be Wednesday. Let me take a look at that. Let me correct that.
well. I was gonna manage it right now, but I'll, I'll correct that later. I'll correct that thing later. It's supposed to be uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at 9.30. Uh, the guest that will be on, Don Smith, very common name, right? So you look it up, they're like, which Don Smith? He's an indie guy. He does indie comics. He's not really invested in comics gate. He's not really anti comics gate either. He he kind of sees it. Look, I, I'm not invested in the comics gate drama. I don't really care for it. And I kind of think it's like, you know, grown men acting like divas, acting like fucking mean girls in, in fucking middle school. But you know, clicks clicks forming, groups forming. You're you're with us or you're against us. He just he just has a comic. He's an indie guy. Um, what I get is he doesn't really, really care for the. He doesn't want to get involved in, in the drama. He just he just wants to put a comic out there. It's like I respect that. I respect that. You know, it is what it is. But he also does a true crime podcast. And uh, he he likes horror, so he should be should be a good guess. And for in case anyone knows, I'm not anti comics gay. Okay, I'm just I call things out when I see it. All right. And some people just don't know how to place me. You know, people see, they look at, I guess, with a black and white lens, like, are you, are you this or that? You know, it's like, no. I think I did a stream before where I was like, some of the things, some of the Puritan stance that uh, some of the comic skate guys have seems kind of like the Puritan stance that the SJWs have at times. You know, it's, it's like, come on, guys. You don't, don't be them. <laughs> You know, just be about the fans. Just be about the art. That's what you should be about. Fuck comic books. Who cares? Well, I do like comic books every now and then. I'm not a huge comic book guy. But uh, I find it interesting. I find the, the, the creation interesting. You know, the, the storytelling and all that. I do find that. If you buy my book, you're fighting SJWs. Hey, there you go. That that's that's a good pitch. That's a good pitch. You know, that's that's the that's the angle anymore, right? That's what I should be doing. Hey guys, see this book here? It's bikers versus the undead. Everyone does zombies. Everyone does zombies. What sets us apart is uh, it's not the emo people crying about their feelings. Uh, it's straight up badass bikers killing uh, killing the undead. If you like that sort of thing, it's great. You know what's even better? When you buy this, you make an SJW cry. You know why? Because it's full of sexism. It's full of masculine, you know, strong men doing what they do. It's about bikers kicking ass, drinking beer, smoking cigars, and telling women to go back in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> oh, it's also about traditionalism, too. Because the bikers, they later, they marry, they have wives, uh, traditional wives who stay home and, you know, make them their dinner, uh, uh, clean the house and all that. It's, so when you buy this book, you make an SJW cry. Okay. <laughs> that, that's what I should do. That should be my pitch for all my books. I'm a horrible salesman, but maybe that'll be it. I can get behind that. But cape shit is boring. Cape shit is boring. Superheroes need to stop wearing capes. Capes look cool, I guess, when you're standing and running, but they get in the way. When, when, a, when a Disney movie kind of has to point that out, come on, man, come on. When the Incredibles point that out, Come on. Anyway, what were we talking about? That's right. I started the stream talking about this guy. I guess I can still play his stuff since the PPP is done. Here I go. Or anything. Or they claim, yeah, we'll meet up. But then, you know, plans change and they never tell me till it's way too late. That we can't meet. Okay, so this guy is talking about how he can't, he struggles to make friends, struggles to, uh, to uh, 
Okay, girls. Uh, I could see why. Girls are girls are bitches. Like the girls are just make fun of this guy. My question is: Is this motherfucker hung like a horse? Nature's cruel, man. Nature's fucking cruel. But sometimes you get a little something that you can use, right? You know what? If I was him and then I had his look, I'd probably just embrace the, the sloth meme. I, I mean that. Like the sloth from the Goonies meme. I would, I would embrace that. I would, I would embrace that thing and uh, wear a shirt that says I'm hung like a horse. Go to, go to those conventions. Uh, go to horror conventions or whatever and see if you get some uh, fucking sleazy ass slut pussy. You probably could. Probably could, you know. I mean, I, I, I don't. A guy like him, I don't see him getting a long-term girlfriend. I just don't see that. I don't see it unless, unless he can actually find a genuine, real woman that actually cares about connection and feelings and stuff like that. <sighs> mm. Yeah. Meet up, and. You know, it ruins me, you know? So. Oh, but, he, but if he gets the nose fixed, then he wouldn't really be able to do the, he wouldn't be able to go to the Minecraft conventions as a pigman, okay? Now, you might be thinking, wait, 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 wait. If he goes to a Minecraft convention dressed as a pigman with a shirt that says, I'm hung like a horse, isn't that dangerous territory? Because Minecraft conventions are for kids. Yeah, true. But. There's adults there too. There's adult women there, right? Right? Well, that is dangerous territory. That's weird. You know what? This guy should just go furry. I mean, if nature is like this to you, just go furry. Just get a furry suit and do that. Don't don't be complete degenerate. You know, don't be fucking animals and shit. Don't be doing that. Uh, but but just go furry. Maybe that maybe that's in this best. This guy's best interest. What do y'all think? Bad advice. I mean, what would you do? What advice would you give him? That's that sort of thing. I've also been trying to find anybody I could hang out with that would help with, you know, outfits, goth clothes, you know, that sort of thing. And oh, yeah, he really likes goth clothes. He loves goth clothes. Like Hot Topic. So there's this meetup place, Hot Topic. He could totally get some goth pussy. All he has to do is wear the... Wait, how the, f how the fuck can this guy not get a girlfriend? If he likes goth clothes, all he has to do is go to Hot Topic around there, dress all goth, look super goth. Uh, he already has the look, right? Uh, I mean, facially. He, you know, he already has that kind of like... <laughs> that look about him. Uh, like it'd be some sort of monster that needs to be tamed, like a beast that needs to be tamed by some some chick. He could probably probably angle that. Come on, man! If Gothic King Cobra can get a girlfriend every once in a while, because apparently he can, and he talks about it, how come this guy can't? And you know, I've been trying to you know find a girlfriend, but that's not even working either <laughs> these days. Because most girls think I'm too ugly, too creepy, and they feel that I'm never... Look at that tongue ass, too. He doesn't stick it out, but it looks pretty... Mr. Deadman, why are you noting his tongue? Just when he's talking. I'm, I'm looking at him talk. All I see is his nose and his mouth, okay? I need myself. Wait, what's, who's that? Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. X out of this, X out of this, X out of this. That stream on Bitwave is still going. And I think they're about to play the porn. Oh, shit. Dude, these are private messages. <laughs> I just have Windows Share open. I'm sorry. We're fine. We're fine, though. That was an emergency. That was an emergency. I don't, I don't have anything private in my DMs anyway. I don't sext anybody. I don't send nudes of me. I don't receive nudes. And that's how things should be. If I receive a nude, I tell that chick, I'm married. What the fuck are you doing? Stop. 
Go get some help. Whatever their type. And most girls these days are basing their... Okay, for those tuning in now, who is this? This is RMX 77. You know, he's better than Ethan Ralph in just about every way. Every way. Instead of begging for linos and lemons for sustenance to depend on alcohol, this guy actually goes to a local church uh, for, for food. Yeah, he does get free food. He depends on the church, the local community for food and sustenance. But you know what? He's willing to go out and get it. And he's not drinking himself to a stupor, right? Uh, and he's not simping. Now, he has the capacity to simp. Every man does. Every man does. In their weakest moment. Come on. Now, maybe, maybe you're the type of man who realized and wised up and knows. And you're, you're beyond that. Anyway. This could be Ethan Ralph's brother. I have no idea. Their willingness to talk to me if I'm cute enough, like sexy enough, or if um, I have interests or something that, you know, sparks their interest, then they're like, oh, yeah, I really want to meet this person. Or, yeah, I want to be with this person kind of attitude. But if I don't, they act all... Um, Nope, you're not my type. You're too ugly. You're too creepy and such. And on Facebook. Okay, the ugly thing, I mean, I could see why chicks say that. But, I mean, he could probably use his looks in some way. I mean, some suggested changes fix his nose. Fix his nose. I say keep the nose. Go with the sloth thing. Or go with the uh, uh, pigment thing. I was a joker there. You could probably use it. Or go furry. Or just go complete goth. Go so goth. Like, you're not even wearing black. You don't even have eyeliner on. You don't even have, you're not using a, like a shoe polish to like darken your hair. Like you say, this guy says, says he's goth, but goth King Cobra is real goth. This guy is posing. Um, I think his, I think the, the core of his problem is self-esteem. He, he just needs to embrace what he is and go all the way and not let the criticism, the negativity get to him. Just go all the way, man. Fuck the haters. Go all goth. Go to Hot Topic. We're all dark and black and all that shit. Uh, be all dark and mysterious. I'm sure you're going to get some, some girl who's into that thing. Some freaky girl. I'm pretty sure you could. Come on. Come on. If Gothic King Cobra can get some pussy, you can do it too. If Ethan Ralph can get some pussy, you can do it too. It's not hard. Pussy's cheap. It's all around you. Now, if you want to talk about quality pussy, that's a different story. But we're not talking about quality here. We're just talking about finding it. Anyway. This book, I have decided to not, never post another picture of myself on my profile page because of the fact that a lot of girls, when they see my picture... They either... Okay, he has talked to Suffer. He has an excuse. He always has an excuse. And, and you know what? People, people do this. They have this a lot. They always have an excuse, a convenient ex excuse. And you know what? You can't help someone that's not willing to help themselves. If they're not willing to listen and try, if they just... Um, if they're just so used to this hopelessness and they have what they, got, they call it learned hopelessness where they just... They're just defeated all the time. Then you really can't help them. You really can't. All you could do is... Nothing, really. You could shame them. That does nothing. You can make fun of them. That does nothing. Ah, uh, I mean, there's no... Like, I don't even... By the way, any sort of criticism or jest or... or the comedic same thing I say about this guy, about his appearance. I'm not trying to be mean, right? I, I don't want to pick on this guy. I don't want to. It's like kicking a puppy. An ugly puppy. Hmm.
Now, if this guy had a job at something else besides, uh, you know, his looks, maybe he could use that. But I don't think he has a job. Obviously, he doesn't. He depends on the local community for, you know, for, for handouts. Man. What would y'all do? If this guy was willing for help and he asked you, what would y'all do? What would y'all say? What would y'all say? Tell me outright that I'm too ugly. Or they tell me, go away in a rude way. Like, don't talk to me. Or they will look at my profile page, look at my pictures, then put a comment saying how ugly I am. Well, that's because they're ugly people on the inside. The people who do that are ugly, okay? Look, man, there's some people that are just assholes, all right? And there's people that maybe they're good people, but they're just assholes in the moment. Maybe they're just, like drunk. Maybe they're just, I don't know, woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something. Guys, I mean, we've all done it, right? We made some stupid comments on a post. Maybe we should have done. Maybe it was a little too mean or whatever. To someone innocent, someone that has never done anything to us. It was just in the moment. It was just in the moment. Maybe maybe your your boss chewed you out. Maybe uh, something else is going on. And you just see something, you're like, fuck it. Don't just dump on this guy. It had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. Chicks do that too. Anyway. And it keeps happening and happening and happening. And ever since I decided to never post another picture of myself on my profile page, I had been getting people or even girls not willing to even talk to me at all. And a lot of times all I say is, hello there, how you doing? And nothing. No, no nothing. I don't even get as much as a hello. I don't. Man, this guy needs a huge injection of some positivity. Come on. No, no, he doesn't need someone just to give him advice. He need, he needs a life coach to go in the room and be like, get the fuck up. Get get off that chair. He looks like he's sitting on a toilet right now. He looks like he's sitting in the bathroom in the toilet. Look, look at that. Beside him, what is that, a curtain or is that a shower curtain? What, what is that? What is that? I couldn't tell you. He looks like he's sitting in the bathroom. Has to be. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, Saint, Saint Ives. This is a bathroom. He's in a fucking bathroom doing this no 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 i'm not saying this to be mean he needs a life coach in there that's gonna tell him like it is get up off of your toilet stop shitting stop sitting there lift some weights man let's start there do some push-ups lift some weights come on just first off dump that negative energy out of you work it out of you sweat it out sweat it out okay let's start there start building working on the self-esteem and working out that's going to be the be the beginning of that not to build muscle not to make yourself look better just to have yourself feel better he's so in the he's so deep in this dump of poor me poor me poor me no nah, man he needs someone there to he probably needs someone there to stop him around like literally physically maybe maybe he might need a reality check I don't, I'm not saying that in a mean way. I mean, I mean that he needs someone in there to give him, a, 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 give him a solid reality check. Hey, so what nature's not kind to you? So what people are not kind to you? Guess what? Everyone, everyone's an asshole. Everyone has encounters, encounters with assholes. Everyone's been told that they're ugly and all that stuff. You know what? I could see it. Nature's not been kind to you. But you're going to be, poor me, poor me, poor me until you get some, what, pity pussy? Is that going to happen? That's never going to happen. Never. Never. So get up and work on yourself. And let me tell you something, man. Life isn't about girls. It's not about pussy. It's not about it. People just think that. Think that, oh, how can I get this pussy? How can I get these, these girls? There's more than life about than that. Man, this guy needs a huge reality check. A lot of lost souls out there, Mr. D. Yeah, there are. There are they are. They, they need someone to look up to. They need someone to, that's willing to challenge them. 
And it's not going to be through this, like a, me commenting on his videos, because he's never going to see this stream. And if he does, he'll be like, oh, Mr. D is being too mean to me. Oh, my God. He's hurting my feelings. Uh, I'll tell him, look, get over your feelings, son. Stop crying. I list some fucking dumbbells. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to. Just do some push-ups, man. Seriously. Work out. Start there. Start there. Mm. It's a whole p channel of self-pity. RMX 77. <laughs> it is. It is. This is five minutes in a 20 minute video. That's, that's a lot of pity. You know, when I was in a college, I wanted at the time to go for a, uh, a master's in psychology because I wanted to be a therapist. I wanted to be a licensed clinical therapist. But, uh, but life happens, you know, you, you get the bachelors and uh, uh, you realize how much debt you are and, and, you know, situations change. You have a kid and you're like, okay, I, I need to actually get, put food on the table instead of just getting more in debt. So I made some choices. But in the pursuit of doing that, they, they have you go in group counseling sessions to see what it's like. Oh, yeah. And there's people like this. There, there are people like this. Uh, Aaron, uh, Stephen, you're right. Uh, there's people like this quite a bit. And I just look at the guy and it's like, poor me, poor me, pity me, pity me. It's like, okay. Like there comes a point to where you got to stop. You got to stop with the victimization. There comes a point to where you have to just, okay, I dumped my feelings out. Okay. Now what are you going to do to fix it? Like, are you just going to talk about your problems? Or can we start talking about the solutions? Or are you going to just be dismissing every fucking piece of, of, of advice? At that point, you're just lazy. You're just being fucking lazy. It'd be no different from a, a lazy son of a bitch living in a house that's falling apart around him. Like, let's say, uh, Ethan Ralph. His house is crumbling around him. His house is crumbling around him. He could fix it up. I mean, I mean there's no interest because the bank owns it, but he, he could fix it up if you wanted to. Take some pride in where he lives just for that. I mean, if you're living in a house, it's falling apart. The roof is caving in. Doors are off the hinge, falling apart. You can fix that shit. Get a drill, uh, get some power tools, get some screws, get, get, get the stuff you need. Do the work. Oh, I don't know how, don't know how. Motherfucker, I didn't know how when I got my house. Watch some YouTube videos on it. It's very easy. You fix up, you know, you solve it. Solve the problems. Same, same thing with yourself. Same thing with your body. If your body's falling apart, maybe you're too fat. Maybe you have, like me, high blood pressure. Okay, well, maybe not drink so much. <laughs> you know, advice I could use. Or right, maybe work out. Take care of yourself. Try to do better. Try to do better. At least try and solidly try. Don't be like, oh, I can't do it and make every single fucking excuse. At that point, you're hurting yourself. I mean, and I feel like the stuff I'm saying, it's so fucking dumb. It's, I mean, it's basic. It's basic. It's like, duh. It's like, everyone should know this, right? Don't get as much as a, hey, you know, how you doing kind of response. You know, it's like, or even a, I'm fine. How are you? You know, it's more like ignore me because some of them do read my profile page and then decide based on my feelings and what I'm putting on my profile as a reason not to even bother to talk to me. What, like on Facebook? This guy's just posting stuff on Facebook and expecting, uh, expecting some random woman to be like impressed and, and just enamored and, and want to just jump his bones? Who does that? You know who does that? Catfishing scams. They do that. They'll hit you up. Some hot woman profile hits you up. A brand new profile, no posts, will hit you up. Hey, I like you. 
That's, you know, they'll say all sorts of stuff. It happened to me. It happened to me. It happens to you guys. You know, you, you see it. But the first time it happened, you didn't know what, what was going on. Maybe you're young and new on the internet. You're like, what the fuck is this? And then they ask for money. You're like, fuck you. I'm not giving you money. I don't even know who the fuck you are. <laughs> Jesus. One lonely goth, goth on Facebook. Is, is he on that? Oh, God. These people need to get off Facebook. They're take, uh, Facebook is their fucking life. Get off fucking Facebook. Go out, do something, even with COVID. Fuck it. You know what? Let's go out. You know, now, now, now's your time because now you wear a mask. COVID should be his fucking year. Go out to a bar wearing a fucking mask, a COVID mask. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that's how I know his name. I did my research. research. Uh, see, I, 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 do, I do no research. <laughs> I, I don't even know his name. I don't want to... What is his name? That's not doxing. What, what is his name? You don't, you don't have to give me his full name. Just, just his first name. Is his last name Ralph? If not, then that's good. Having no relation to Ethan Ralph is actually better. Is his last name Dead Man? Is he related to me? Do I have a pig nose? God dang, that was a horrible one, wasn't that? That was like a DSP. Derek. Because this channel gets uh, audiences from different, I guess, circles... You know, writers and then horror guys and, 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 and then you guys, I guess. People are into bullshitting on the, on the internet. Um, I did a, a stream, a live stream, where I pretended to be Dark Side Phil. And I was doing a lot of, a lot of <clears throat> that. And uh, I was talking about Cat and all that stuff. But uh, I went to this one guy's podcast, and he thought I was being serious <laughs> because he had no idea. He had no idea. So I had to explain the whole thing. I was like, ah, oh, no. Nah. That, that was just me fucking with someone. <laughs> that was me just fucking with someone. Derek Pigman. Derek Pigman. Uh, I still haven't finished this cigar. It's wasted. It's fucking wasted. I don't even care about it right now. I guess I'll play a little bit more of this guy. I've got lunch coming. And a lot of people, you know, they don't really give a shit as to how they treat me. A lot of girls think they have the right to treat me like shit. Like I'm not worth anything to anybody. And get away with it. Or they feel they have the right to tell me how I'm to live my life. How I'm to go about dating. How I'm to do this, that, and the other. And think that that's the only way that it is to be done. And no other way. And nobody seems to really care. You know? Nobody ever seems to really care. And... They think that the way that I need things done or the way that I do things is the wrong way and that there's only one way to do it. All right, the cigar I'm smoking right now is a, uh, is a J&R. If you, if you order cigars online, uh, J&R, uh, you might know them. Um, I order, I usually get uh, Insidious by Asylum. I usually get that because I love the way that tastes. That tastes great. So it's, it's great. And it's really, it's really actually pretty cheap for how good it is. I really enjoy it a lot. But, you know, cigars are expensive, so I got a bulk supply of the J&R. So it's, it's really their alternative of it. But it's a, it's a Maduro. I like them. I guess I like them dark, if you will. Um, you know, they say it's hand-rolled and all that. It seems... It tastes good. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I, uh... uh if I... I'm definitely going to order more later on. 
Maybe I'll get something new. Does that we don't no, it's just tobacco. Just tobacco. Um food things. Oh, I think my food might be here. Guys, um, I'm kinda done with this guy. I'm I am, but I'm not. If I could reach out to this guy, if he's willing to come on the show to where maybe we can life coach him. That'd be fun. That'd be a fun experiment. But uh yeah, he's kinda sad. He's real sad. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, hanging out with me for this rent and chill. Y'all take it easy. Y'all have a good one.